Well, I've got a fantastic uh, summary dish. Um, vegetarian, we're making ratatouille, but we're making it a little bit different. Normally, we put everything into a pot and we stew it. It's like a vegetable stew. Today, we're going to char grill everything. We're going to put it in a bowl. We're going to make a nice little dressing. I'm going to show you a little tip with some lemons. We're going to make some crostini and we're going to build it up in layers with goat's cheese and fresh basil. It's going to be fantastic. Right, so come back a little bit later, I'll show you all the tips and uh, secrets of this dish. What you can hear is the sizzling of a successful dish. Yes, welcome back to the Cafe Kitchen and Markets and Veggie Recipe. So it's healthy, it's cheap, this is going to be fantastic, especially the way you are doing it. What have we got going on here though, lemons? What, well, that's all going to, it's all about flavour. So we're char grilling the lemons. Yeah, that's right. I've never seen that before. So look at that, we're starting to get a beautiful yeah. caramelisation on that. Mm. That's going to alter the flavour mm -hmm. slightly. It's going to just translate in, into... A, a, a stunning flavour, really. Oh, look at that. I mean, the colours, the texture, the flavour. We're just going to use nice. the juice, though. OK. Oh. Well, then we're going to use it as a dressing, and that's going to dress all our vegetables. So we've started with the onions. Yep. So nice and chunky. Put them on a hot grill or griddle pan or on the barbecue. It's great. Just going to season it as we're cooking. And we're looking for, you know, some nice caramelisation on the lemon. Yep. And quite a lot of caramelisation on the onion, because that's going to give us flavour as well. OK, so this is the ratatouille. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, and it, I, what, you know, what's the history behind a ratatouille? How would you explain it? Well, I mean, it, it's pretty much a stew. It's like a vegetable stew. Okay, so right. you, you put everything in the pot and it goes nice and soggy, like mm. full of flavour. It's beautiful. It's one of my, like, favourite um, sort of vegetarian things. Um, but this is a little bit different. So we're taking sort of all the uh, components of it yep. and we're char grilling them and we're sort of cooking them individually and then we're going to chop them together, do a dressing and then we're going to put it onto the bread. So it's going to be fresher and uh, more <laughs> vibrant. Nice. And more texture. And I heard you earlier talking about layers as well. So we're going to yeah, layer yeah, so it up. We've got a goat's cheese layer as well. Yeah. Um, so we've got some goat's cheese there and then we're just going to sort of um, squash that down, soften it up. We're going to loosen it down with a little bit of cream and some honey as well. So goat's <laughs> cheese and honey and a bit of black pepper is a fantastic combination. Nice. This is an incredible sounding vegetarian dish and nice seasonal vegetables getting some good use. So, okay. you know, leave them quite chunky. Just yep. going to pop them on there. Uh, plenty of olive oil, really nice good olive oil and some salt and pepper and then they can go on. And it's, it's just about griddling, you know? So if you do this on the barbecue, get a really hot barbecue, spend a bit of time doing a, getting some nice colour yeah. uh, onto your vegetables and seasoning and flavour. We've got some thyme there as well, which we're going to add just before the vegetables are finished cooking. OK, now do you want us to turn these? Yep, let's have a look at those. You reckon? Yeah. OK. What do you reckon? A, oh, a little bit more. A little bit, little bit more. That one. Yeah, it's always a moment of truth, isn't it, when you turn it? it you, know? nice. you leave it a little <laughs> bit too long. Okay, I'm going to check this one here. So, the grilling them or the griddling them is going to give us that extra flavour burst yeah, that you want for yeah. this ratatouille. That's, okay, yeah, good, that's, good where the, that's where the flavour is. Okay, nice. And okay. it's always a great idea to cook with colours as well, you know. If you've got lots of different colours, you know, within a dish, within a salad or on the bruschetta, you know, you know it's going to taste good as well. You know, if it all looks like one colour, then chances are it's going to taste, you know, very sort of one-dimensional. Right. Lots of different colours and textures just lifts the whole dish. Okay, another great tip. So we're doing all of these. Yeah. So what about these lemons? What are we yeah, doing? Yeah, let's with have a look at the lemons. Beautiful. So we're going to take them off now. So okay. we've got a nice, nice chart around the outside, and it's almost like cooking mm. the sort of semi-cooking the lemon juice as well. Okay, now that's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, look at that. And like, if you lovely. You know, if you just put a little bit off it's and taste. taste it, it's just totally changed okay, nice. that flavour profile of the lemon. Okay, so that. Okay, I'll it's still quite okay. sour. Mm. But a really good flavour. You're right, it does change it, doesn't it? Yay, nice work. Okay, cool. I'm going to put these onions over now. So we're really looking for that really sort of, you know, nice bar marks there. Turn your vegetables over. You can turn them 45 degrees so we're getting these nice crosses on there and then use both sides of the vegetables. We still want a bit of texture in there, yep. but we want we want the vegetables to be sort of starting to soften and sort of wilting down a little bit, but we still want that texture. We don't want to cook them too much. And is there any rule to the vegetables you can use? Well, I mean, you can use, you use any, any vegetables you right. want, really. I mean, you just got to make sure that, because we're using white onions, you do want them to be cooked. So they want to they be sort of soft, but still, still crunchy, but they're going to uh, release some sweetness. It's not going to have that raw, you don't want that raw onion taste. And the eggplants, you want to make sure they're all cooked all the way through. Um, 
you know, but these are classic uh, ratatouille vegetables. Nice work. OK, well, the veggies are underway. We'll come back and show you how to do a little bit more of this dish. Uh, by the way, you can easily catch it at thecafe.co.nz. Write that down. Because well, usually when I cook a ratatouille at home, just chuck it all in a bowl. But you're doing something different here, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're treating all the vegetables individual, grilling them off so we're getting that nice uh, colour from the chalk, from the, from the grill. Yep. Um, and then we're going to, uh, once, the, once they're cooked, we're just going to chop them up. It's nice bite-sized pieces. Yes. And then we're going to mix through some olive oil, a little bit of that charred lemon juice, yes. just a bit of salt and pepper, and some fresh basil as well. And th these are the vegetables here. Okay. So, obviously, be a bit careful because they are still quite hot because they just come off the grill. Uh -huh. But just some nice little pieces. We're just going to pop them in there. Take the roots off the lemon, uh, off the uh, onion, rather. <laughs> pop them in. You know, make sure they're nice and soft. And then just roughly dice it. And then we're going to make it a goat's cheese uh, layer yeah. for our sandwich. OK, so these are done, Mike. Yep. Get these off. Awesome. Nice work. Right, your job, Mike. Mm -hmm. You can make the goat's cheese. OK. So Mike, get me the goat. <laughs> no, OK, right. <laughs> this is get goat's cheese here. Yep, so in the bowl, and we're just going to start um, just softening it with the back of a spoon. Mm -hmm. OK. Yum. I love goat's cheese. OK, so we're just going to... And what are we going to, we're going to mix some more stuff in here, right? Yeah, and then we've got a little bit of cream as well. So you yep. can just put a splash of cream in. That's just going to help you um, just cream it down. OK, yeah, it's breaking down all right. Yeah, so you don't want to make it too wet, you know? OK. I don't want it sliding off the plate. Yeah. OK, so this is nice, quick and easy, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Once you've got your vegetables done, you're, you're halfway well, that's it. there. And, you, and you want to do, do it straight away. You know, a traditional ratatouille, like we were talking before, it's, it's in the pot, it's stewing. You know, it's going to take a good sort of 30, 40 minutes by the time you do it. Uh -huh. And look at that. We've still got the colours there, you know. A little bit more salt, a little bit of pepper, and some basil. You know, grow this in the garden, just grab it straight off the tree, and then just roughly chop it. You know, you get some fantastic flavour. That'll okay. do. And we've got some honey as well. OK, that's going to help smooth it out even more. So we'll pop a little bit of honey so into the goat's cheese. So that's the sort of consistency you're looking for? Yeah, we'll, we'll put all that honey in and yep. it will just uh, that will just sort of soften it as mm. well a little bit. <laughs> honey and goat's cheese. And some fresh thyme as well. And Mixed fresh in thyme. with vegetables. <laughs> OK, this is going to be fantastic. Chop that, pop that in, mm -hmm. give that a mix. Okay. And then the caramelised onions. Caramelised lemons, <laughs> getting all your veggies and fruits mixed up today. All that juice all over there. A little bit more olive oil, and that's creating a nice dressing. And then got some crushed up almonds as well for a little bit of texture. I mean, look at that, it looks beautiful. Doesn't it? We've got the goat's cheese there. I'm going to try this red or two when I get home, because I guess everyone, you know, is used to the traditional way of just throwing it in the, yeah, exactly. in the bowl and stewing it up. It's just but something a little bit different. A little bit different. And here's another top tip for you. Get some bread, so you got the croutons. Yep. Get a garlic clove, cut it in half, and then rub your bread. Okay. All right, and that's going to pop some of that garlic flavour onto it. Yum, yum, yum. A little bit of olive oil. Yep. And then just griddle it in your pan as well, nice okay. and crispy. And then we're going to build these uh, uh, sandwiches up. Okay, you probably need the pan back in there. Yeah, you don't turn you? the pan off. And what are we going to do with this? <laughs> So we're going to use a layer of goat's cheese and then we're going to put the uh, dressed vegetables on top. Ooh, make it look yeah. fantastic. OK, well, that mixture's looking fantastic. That smells incredible from here. We've rubbed our bread, get some olive oil on. We'll burn them, make them look good. We'll not burn them, but char them. Char them, thank you very much. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to try this. I, I can't honestly wait. And you should be giving it a go at home as well. The cafe.co.nz is where you find all of our recipes. Come back, see the finished product very soon. <laughs> It is great to have you with us on the cafe and not too far away, the amazing contortionist Captain Frodo will be performing for us live. Okay Mark, congratulations, this looks incredible. It's good. It smells good too.